Matthew chapter six. But take care not to do your righteousness before men, in order to be gazed at by them. Otherwise, you have no reward with your Father who is in the heavens. Chapter two. Therefore, when you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be glorified by men. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But you, when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be in secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. Five, and when you pray, you shall not be like the hypocrites, because they love to pray standing in the synagogues and on the street corners, so that they may be seen by men. Truly I say to you. They have their reward in full, but you, when you pray, enter into your private room and shut your door and pray to your father who is in secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. And in praying, do not babble empty words as the Gentiles do, for they suppose that in their multiplicity of words they will be heard. Therefore, do not be like them, for your father knows the things that you have need of. Before you ask him, you then pray in this way: Our Father who is in the heavens, your name be sanctified, your kingdom come, your will be done as in heaven, so also on earth. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we also have forgiven our debtors. And do not bring us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory for ever, Amen. For if you forgive men their offenses, your heavenly Father will forgive you also. But if you do not forgive men their offenses, neither will your Father forgive your offenses. And when you fast, do not be like the solemn-faced hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so that they may appear to men to be fasting. Truly I say to you, they have their reward in full. But you, when you fast, anoint your head and wash your face, so that you may not appear to men to be fasting, but to your father who is in secret, and your father who sees in secret will repay you. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on the earth, where moth and rust consume, and where thieves dig through and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven. Where neither moth nor rust consumes, and where thieves do not dig through nor steal, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. The lamp of the body is the eye. If therefore your eye is single, your whole body will be full of light. But if your eye is evil, your whole body will be dark. If then the light that is in you is darkness, how great is the darkness! No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will hold to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Because of this, I say to you, do not be anxious for your life, what you shall eat or what you should drink, not for your body, what you should put on. Is not the life more than food, and the body than clothing? Look at the birds of heaven. They do not sow nor reap nor gather into barns, yet your heavenly Father nourishes them. Are you not of more value than they? Who among you, by being anxious, can add one cubit to his stature? And why are you anxious concerning clothing? Concerning well, the lilies of the field, how they grow. They do not toil, neither do they spin thread. But I tell you that not even Solomon in all his glory was clothed like one of these. And if God so arrays the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is cast into the furnace, will He not much more clothe you, you of little faith? Therefore, do not be anxious, saying, What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or with what shall we be clothed? For all these things the Gentiles are anxiously seeking. For your heavenly Father knows that you need all these things, but seek first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things will be added to you. Therefore, do not be anxious for tomorrow, for tomorrow will be anxious for itself. Sufficient for the day is its own evil.